Hello everyone, Amod here from Target Com YouTube channel and this will be another video in the Assessor End-to-End Framework playlist. So I hope you are enjoying this playlist and I've already covered 10 concepts in this framework videos and uh, if you see the existing code whatever we have written till now, so we have done a lot of things right, we have seen like we have added some utility, we have added some utility for JSON, we have added utility for REST and all right. So now if you see, obviously we are going to add so many things here, but if you see the major part we are still missing that is reporting. Because whether it is web automation or API automation, we always need to have a better report. So when you consider the reporting stuff for API testing, so what do you think, what should be the part of your report? Because there is no UI, there is no nothing like a screenshot in take and all right. So what kind of entries or what kind of details you should provide in your API automation report. So again this will be changing project to project or industry to industry or people to people right. But as per my experience I am going to tell you what are the components should you print in your report. So as per me I think there are only three parts for any API. First thing will be your request, second thing will be response and third thing will be assertions. So when you talk about request. So what we should print like what is your base URI or URL and then you need to print the method type whether it is post, gate, patch, whatever it is. Then we should print that uh, request headers. Then we should print the body if applicable. Same thing goes for response. Whenever we want to print the response we should add some points like response actual, response body, then response header, at least two points in response. And third point is assertion which is important thing in which you should say what are things you are you have verified. Like if you see my airline test, so how will you ensure that airline is successful or airline case is successful? First you need to check the status code. Second thing you need to say that we should generate or we should have given some airline ID. If you see in the response we get the airline ID when the airline case is successful. So we should check for that. Then maybe whatever details you are entering or whatever details you are providing to create an airline. So same details you should retrieve as well. So this type of addition you need to do, this type of assertion you need to do. So these assertions must be part of your report. So that anyone can understand, okay, this was the request, this was the response and these are the validation you have performed. So these things must be part of your report. Okay, so for this we can use your uh, action report, you can use your LU reporting if you want, if you are very good in your HTML, CSS and then you can create your own reporting as well. But there is no need to put time to create your own HTML report, better to use some existing free libraries like we have action report, we have LU report. So as of now we are going to use extend report in this framework. Let's jump to code. If you see the depend dependencies here in pom.xml. I believe that I have not added the extend report dependency. Let me cross check it. No, here I have added the extend report dependency already. Okay, so first thing to add the extend reporting in your framework, you need to add the dependency which I have already added here. And I think I am using the latest version which is 5.0.9. So extend report has evolved a lot actually. If you are using extend report 2, 3 or 4, so you, they, they are changing a lot of things. Okay, but the basic concepts are always same. Earlier they have some HTML reporter, now in extend 5 they have changed to Spark reporter. So to understand those things, what is what is the latest changes, you should always go and check their official documentation. So let me search for the official documentation, documentation that will be available in extendreports.com. If you go here in docs under version 5, okay so this is the URL for latest extend report that is version 5 in Java. If you come down and you see here, they are providing free of cost only one reporter that is called extend spark reporter and that is more than enough for us. If you want to use some advanced report and all then you can go for paid one but if for the basic one with the good reporting stuff extend spark report is more than enough. Okay, So you need to always go and see the official documentation. Okay, we can see it is using the extent spark reporter. Let's now and implement that in our framework. Like always I say whenever you are trying to add something new, think whether that should be part of your framework or your test code. So I am talking about reporting and reporting is obviously an important part of your 
framework. So that frame, that code, that reporting stub code must be part of a framework. That means it should go under SRC main Java. So what I'm going to do, I have already some four packages here. I will add another package. That package name I will give reporting. And I'm going to create a new class here. And I will, I will name it as extend report manager. Okay, you can give any name, but extend report manager means all the extend report utility I'm going to have here. That's why I'm using the extend report manager or if you want, you can use extend report utils because if you want to keep the same nomenclature. So first thing we need to create an instance, right? Create an instance of report so that, okay. But before that, you need to understand some points. You, you need to run a suite, right? In real time, you are not going to run the test one by one. You are going to run a suite. So if you're running a suite, and if you're running in parallel or you're running in sequential, so your report, final report should be only one. In all the test cases you're running, that should be come under that report. Doesn't matter whether you're running sequential or parallel. So you need to have some way so that in whatever style you are running your test cases, all the test cases should present or report, should, sorry, the result of all the test cases should be present in the same action report. There should not be multiple action report created. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create one utility and that utility will do simply create one report. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new method like public. And again, I'm using static because this is just the utility extend and uh, let me put the wide edge of now and I will create, I will give the name as create instance. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create the extend report. So we know that we have extend spark reporter now. So I'm used, I'm going to create an object of this class. New extend reporter. Okay. If you see the constructor of this method, you can see here it is asking you to provide some report, right? So this is nothing but you need to pass the file name. Okay. So what I am going to say, I will just parameterize this method to accept a file name. That means I will simply do a string file name and this file name I will pass here. So in the extend report, we need to set some properties like maybe report name, then document title, then themes and some extra things, right? So let's start with very basic things. We are not going to add so many things as of now, so many configs as of now, but we're going to add four things generally. It will be like extend report, extend spark reporter dot set, uh, sorry, it will be config, then set report name as a parameter again. Okay. So a string file name, a string report name, I am going to use it here. Instead of hard coding the API automation report, let me parameterize this one. Extends by reporter dot config dot set report name. Okay. Let me set it again, not report name. Uh, we can set the title. So when you open the report in browser, then you should see like uh, the title is set up there. So that method, I think document title. Okay. And uh, you can let me parameterize that as well. It should be set. So we created the action spark reporter. Then I am setting the report name. Then I'm setting the document title. And two things you can set more like it will be your encoding and theme. Okay. So just to have start with the basic things, extend config set theme, right? So we can, I can use the standard or dark theme. Okay. But I like dark theme more. So let me use the dark. Okay. And again, I will set up something like uh, set encoding. It will help to display some uh, characters actually. So it is better to set. Maybe I will try to set, uh, give some example when we don't set it. But yeah, let's set the encoding as UTF-8. So this we configure the extend spark reporter. After this, I need to create one extend report. Extend reports. 
so let me create an object of it and in this extend report i need to attach the spark reporter okay since we are creating one extend report and but we are not uh, giving any way so that anyone can use this class so what i am going to do instead of creating it as a local variable i will create a static variable here global so public static extend reports so spelling is incorrect so let me correct it and after creating the instance i will simply return it also so instead of void i will give the return type as extend report so it will create and return with the extend report instance right after the setting up okay and i am going to remove this part okay so the actual we defined it outside just so that i can use it later point of time that i will show you so yeah so this is the way we we did only two things here we added the dependency and we created one another package like reporting in that reporting i am just initializing the extension spark report with some configuration like the report name document title theme and encoding and then in the extend report we need to attach that report and that report extend report i am just returning it here so that i can use it in my other code so this code is coming from this uh, documentation if you read this document documentation you can understand how they are doing you can see here they are creating an instance of extend report okay then extend spark report they are creating then they are simply that attaching the report to the extend report so you can have multiple reports right uh, like you can see klob reporters and there are other reporters as well but those are not free we are just using the extend spark reporter so we created configure the extend spark report and we attach to the extend reports which i am returning as part of this method so in the next video i will show you that how can i use the extend report in our framework using the tsng listeners so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone